There's definitely national security implications to de-icing in the Arctic that will make Alaska and the North Slope much more accessible. We need to have an understanding of that so we can not only understand how it impacts us, but how it impacts everywhere. Things are changing and we do need to you know, be aware of that change and factor that change in the, in the decisions that we make as a country. The trend in Arctic sea ice is that it's shrinking over time. That issue is a big concern to people who manage security like the Coast Guard and the Navy. Where is the ice going to be in the future? We evaluate the simulation of present day climate so that we can understand whether or not our projections of future climate are realistic and accurate. Within the Office of Science, there's an office called Biological and Environmental Research, and they fund atmospheric research facilities in northern Alaska. And our department at Sandia has been doing that work for about 20 years now. The purpose is to have continuous measurements at these locations um, and then collect data of the atmospheric state at those locations and then send that down to a data repository. Having 20 years worth of data, you can begin to decipher trends. Literally anybody from anywhere in the world can reach into that archive, extract data that will help them build models, test models, improve models, which help us get a better handle on how to manage energy use and how choices of energy sources influence our atmosphere. Trying to understand what the demands for resources will be in the future. It all kind of comes back to what the climate is like and what the weather is like. We need to have honest and unbiased science and having that science being performed in a national lab I think helps ensure that you do have you know, unbiased science. We're doing science in the nation's interest. We have the resources and the longevity and the people and the experience to tackle a really tough problem like improving atmospheric models that can be used to forecast centuries into the future. Sandy is configured very well to make these long-term contributions to an important science problem. I know that the work that I'm doing is important. I know that the science that I'm doing is relevant. I know that, that what I'm doing you know, is important to national security and you know, it's important to the future of our planet. I really enjoy the job. I mean, it's fulfilling personally, but also I do feel like I'm able to contribute to science and that the science we're getting is meaningful. I feel like we really are getting data sets that are gonna be what people build on in the field of climate science for many years.